devotion. I will be reading from Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 25. The birth of Jesus Christ. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. So Mary was engaged she was engaged to be married with Joseph. But before the marriage ceremony, Joseph realized that she was pregnant. Verse 19, because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. So because Joseph was a good man, honorable with integrity, he wanted to call off the wedding, but did not want to disgrace Mary publicly. Back in ancient times, she would probably be stoned uh, for, for being pregnant out of wedlock. Verse 20, But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. So we have the angel speak to him in a dream, she will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son. They will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him took Mary home as his wife. So they had the wedding, but he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. Tonight, or today, our focus is on the word Emmanuel, which means God with us. You know, we, uh, we, we find it in the Old Testament when God says, I am with you. We find it in the New Testament where Jesus says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And here in this text, it says, Emmanuel, God with us. God 
in the flesh, God becoming one of us to feel how we feel, to know how we think, to experience life as a human being. God born into this world like one of us. Now this, uh, this reminds me of a, a woman named uh, Carla. Um, in her three years of marriage, um, it became a train wreck. Well, unfortunately, the best option at the time for her life was to be separated from her husband, but the timing was really bad. It was a few days before Christmas. She didn't know where to turn, didn't want to talk to her family about it because she was just not ready to answer questions. And besides, it was Christmas time. The timing was bad as well. Well, she had a really uh, good coworker. Uh, her coworker named Sally uh, realized what had happened and offered her a place to stay until she could s sort things out. Well, Sal what Sally had was a room upstairs in the attic, although it was low ceiling. Um, she had a comfortable twin bed upstairs for her, and so Carla accepted the invitation to stay with her co-worker. Well, it was Christmas Eve. Um, her co-worker saw it in Carla's voice. You know, she was hurting, she was lost, and so she invited her over Christmas Eve to her mother's place for, uh, to celebrate Christmas. But of course, Carla said no. Um, she wasn't in the mood, she was lonely, she, she confused, she was in no mood of celebrating. And so Carla said goodbye to, said Merry Christmas and said goodbye to her friend, co-worker, Sally. Well, when Sally left, uh, Carla went upstairs to her bed and she was wondering if God knows what she was going through. She prayed for a sign that things will be okay. Well, around 8.30 p.m., the phone rang. She picked it up, it was her friend, Sally. In fact, Sally, again, invited her to her mother's house again. And she insisted this time, said, everybody here says, you can't spend Christmas Eve alone. Well, it convinced her to finally say yes. And so she got into her car, in a dark, cold, wintry night, and she drove to Sally's mother's house. When she got there, it was about 9.30 p.m., and as she was walking up to the front door, she had this awkward feeling because she was depressed. I feel like there's a bunch of strangers here, and I'm just a fifth wheel. Well, as soon as she got inside the door, Sally handed her a warm plate of food. She said, Mom, save this for you. Well, she ate the food, she loved it, and she began to warm up to the crowd. Well, as they were talking, um, enjoying their time together, suddenly somebody mentioned that all the roads are closed. Nobody was going home that night. All the roads were closed, and so everyone had to stay the night. So that night they handed Sally a sleeping bag, and she would be sleeping in the living room. Well, as she was uh, laying there in the sleeping bag, she fell asleep. By the next morning, she was awakened by some sounds in the kitchen. And she pretended that she was still asleep because she felt out of place in amidst a bunch of strangers. And then she noticed people started giggling and gathering around the Christmas tree. Now she felt even more odd. I mean, I mean, what is she going to do? Watch people get gifts and is she just sit there? Well, suddenly, her name was called Carla. Somebody brings a gift over to her. It was wrapped in red tissue. The label has had a name crossed out and written Carla on it. Then her name was called again. She got another gift. The gift was a wrapped in green and gold. And again, the name tag, the name was crossed out. And, and the name of Carla was written in, on it. And as she received more gifts, she realized that everybody there had crossed out one of their gifts and wrote her name on it. That Christmas day, she experienced the best Christmas she had ever experienced. Through these strangers, she had experienced God's love. Well, suddenly she realized that 
she had prayed for a sign. She had prayed for a sign that everything would be okay. She was wondering if God knew what she was going through. Well, she got her answer to that. In fact, she can attest that that was the best, her, the best Christmas she had ever experienced. In fact, she would say that God knows what you are going through. Whether you're going through the highs or lows of life, whether you are struggling, He knows and you matter to Him. She experienced God, the Emmanuel, God with us. She was really grateful for that Christmas day. She was very grateful to her friend. But also, this is a reminder to us that Jesus became one of us, Emmanuel. To feel what we feel, to experience life the way we experience it, we have a Savior that knows, not only knows what it means to be human, so that He can represent us in front of the Father. Friends, no matter what you are going through, maybe you're going through some low times, but I want to encourage you and to remind you that it matters to God. He is with you. He knows what you're going through. Please join me for prayer. Father, it is your thoughts of love towards us that sent your son Jesus to be born into this world, to become one of us, to live like us, and to ultimately die on the cross for all of our sins. And through his death and resurrection, you sent us the Holy Spirit, the Spirit that lives within us, so that we will never be away and alone again, that you are always with us, and that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, no matter what happens in life, or if we're struggling right now, help us to know that you're in control and that you're walking with us. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Still we see the light Above thy deep and dreamless sleep The silent storms go by Yet in thy dark streets shine the ever The hopes and fears of all my years are met in me tonight. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. Wandering love, oh morning stars together proclaim the holy birth, and the praises sing to God our King, and peace to Silently, the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of His heaven. No ear may hear His coming, but in this world of sin. Christ enters in. O oh, holy child of Bethlehem, descend.